Hello and welcome back to Black Dice Gaming. I'm James and today we're doing a painting video. Uh, this time we're going to be painting up Durka, the gold dragon from uh, Arkham Studios. Here she is. And we've got silver and gold tones on her body. Okay, so I've sped the video up uh, of me uh, painting her. And I uh, hope you enjoy. So please like and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, but alternatively, I'm absolutely full of cold. So this is just a real quick, simple video that I've sped up. And I'll just uh, narrate over the top of it. I'm not entirely happy with the end result. But uh, there's only so much we can do. And I just have to give up and move on. Uh, but this is how I did it. You can either learn from my mistakes or repeat them exactly. Catch you in the next one. Okay, so let's get cracking. Uh, first off, we're going to be using Chorus White, or Corvex White, uh, which is just an off, off white, not quite white, but also elements of, of grey. Uh, we're just using that on the inside of the wing membranes and on the outside of the wing membranes because we're going to have those a, a much lighter coat at the end. So we're starting off from a, a, a matte black undercoat. Uh, I think I used Colour Forged uh, matte black. It's, uh, it's a very nice undercoat. I uh, highly recommend that. As you see, we're just going across the wing membranes. Uh, please bear with me with my voice because I'm sort of losing it but I want to get this video out So moving on now to the next colour, and we used a Vallejo Copper. I thought it was just better just dry brushing it onto the, uh, to the dragon scales. And it was nice to use a, a sort of deeper, darker colour to start with, and sort of work the highlights up from, from copper all the way up to the gold. We're just concentrating on all the, uh, all the scales on the model, its face, uh, its back, all the back spines. Uh, and I'm doing the entirety of the legs, even though that they're going to be a, a silvery colour a bit later on. Just gives it a good base coat all the way over. Pretty heavy dry brush because we do want to uh, cover most of it. And uh, just use lighter colours on the on the highlights of the sections later on. Moving on now, we're uh, using, I think it was gunmetal I used uh, from Vallejo again. Uh, and here we're just concentrating on the the sort of belly part, the front scales, uh, some of the side scales that run down the side of its head, uh, and the hands, claws, and arms. Just to give it a slightly different sort of lighter look uh, on those parts of the model. Having done that, I wasn't entirely happy with the overall look, so I went ahead and did Agrax Earth Shade of everything. I included the wing membranes at this point, uh, just to pick out all the sort of ridges that the, the wing membranes have. Uh, so I went ahead and covered everything in Agrax Earth Shade. Uh, it's rescued me on many occasions, and hopefully this was going to be another one. With the Agrax Earthshade dry, I then used uh, Kislev Flesh and uh, just give the wing membranes a dry brush uh, just to make them look a little bit more lifelike, uh, make them stand out a little bit from the rest of the model. 
Uh, the dry brush worked really well because of how many ridges and, and things are in the, the wings. Moving on, moved on to a slightly lighter silver. Uh, I think it was actually silver I used at this point. Uh, we're just highlighting the silver parts just to make them stand out just a little bit more. Apologies, I'm not sure why the camera has switched its rotation. Uh, but obviously once it's done, I can't undo that. Then use tarnished or tinted gold, I think it is, from the uh, Army Painter. Uh, just to highlight the gold areas. As they had got darker with the Agrax Earth Shed, uh, it was just nice to bring them back up again, uh, working on sort of the top parts, the scales, and the, uh, the shoulders and things. At this point, we're just uh, colouring the eye. I think I used Uriel Yellow, that's the one I normally use. And then I uh, moved on to Wraithbone uh, in order to paint the teeth. And at this stage, I think it was pretty much done. Uh, we're as into the home straight. And then it was uh, Black Templar on the paws. It had got coats of uh, silver and gold on them. If you wanted to keep that, you could do, but I just wanted to stand out a little bit, so I went ahead and did the Black Templar. Just be patient and careful with the colour, you don't want it to get on any of the other things. Bear crimson for its tongue. Uh, again, you may have to build up the colour on this one because it was quite pale. They'll do us. See you in the next one.